This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to the final part of the little short air conditioning tutorial. So we have the main thing already done, and it looks pretty good. And I just want to set up a little, little scene for it. So I'm going to create a little box here. Make that an editable poly, select the parts, and change this back to view. This will be just a little wall or something. Um, we'll give it a. No, we'll just give it this white material here. Cool. There we go. And we'll add a little bit of a light. Let's see, lights. Metric free light. Uh, yes, turn on exposure control. And we'll just put the light in there. See how well this works. Whoa, that's interesting. Don't know what the line is, but oh well. All right. So we have our lights. Let's go to rendering exposure control and just render a little preview here. See what we have because it's probably too dark or too light. Um. Increase this to something normal. So 11 seems to be working pretty good for my scene. And I'm also going to take this here and rotate it 90 degrees, and then just make a kind of I don't know if I can it, a floor. All right, let's do a quick little test render here. Right here is where we're at so far. Not bad looking, but no shadows or anything, so let's go. Well, we have shadows, but they're not very good. So let's see what we can do about that. Uh, go to your lights, shadow parameters, and I think we want to check this one. I don't remember for sure, but we'll find out. So select that. And then let's go back to rendering exposure control. And render another little preview here. So you still don't have very many shadows. Alright, let's go to indirect illumination. Final gather is on. We don't need caustics. Let's turn on global illumination here. And to that and see what we get. All right, so this is looking even better. We have some nice darker areas in here. And actually, in real life, there's some like a screen behind this, um, which would be pretty easy to implement. Um, you just well here. Let's see if we can just do a little something. So select this back face, and then we're gonna want to detach it. Detach. Um, detach by itself. Hit OK. Go to material, and we'll actually assign it. I will give it a new material, I guess. So, Arch architecture and design material. Double click on it. Color, make it a little darker. And reflectivity of zero. Actually, point point zero five, I guess, is the best. And then we'll just assign it to that little piece behind here. There we go. Just to make it dark. Because it is actually the screen. And let's see if we can't boost up the shadows on these lights here. Actually, our shadow is on. They should be on, I think. Ah, no, that's why. Shadows were not on. We're just getting reflectivity. Now it should look a lot different. Suffice. Let's see what happens. Render. So, this looks much better, much more like the real thing. So you can see we have a nice little shadow over here from our lights overhead. Um, it's pretty realistic looking, except for the screen. Um, I guess we can make that a little bit darker. Let's 
much should we do that? Go back to materials here. Just darken it up a bit. And we'll also go into bump here. Apply a noise. Go into the noise map and make it fractal. The size, we'll put it at one. That should make it pretty, pretty fine. I don't know if it'll actually be visible or not, but well, see how that works. Next, let's move these lights a little bit closer. So I want to get some shadows uh, off of these little plates right here. And aside from that, I think this is done. I'm just gonna tweak some settings here. It's over here. Let's uh, increase the final gather precision a little bit. Increase soft shadows, anti-aliasing, and that should be about it. Gonna hit render, and we should have something nice in the end once all this is done. All right, and we're back. And uh, before I explain to you the final render, I just want to show you a few settings I had to change. Uh, the bump map was too strong on the screen thing, so I moved it down to 0 0.2. And I also just changed a few of the uh, render settings too, just so we go faster the second time around. But here we have it. This is our final image, and it looks pretty good. I mean, it's actually pretty realistic looking to the real thing, except for the screen. Um, we could fix that by just taking a picture of the screen and doing another texture, like the outside, or finding a screen online and literally push, putting the texture in there. But overall, I'm pretty happy. We have some nice shadows here, a little softer on the edges from our lights. Uh, nice shadows in here. You can't quite see a thing because it's dark, which is good. And everything else is nice looking. So thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope you learned something, or if not, enjoyed watching. And uh, come back for my next one. I'm going to try to do some smaller ones. Maybe I'll do, I don't know, more around the house things, or if I find something interesting, I'll see if I can model it. Uh, again, suggestions are welcome, and uh, I'll see you next time.